Morning breaks. Time to enter Cecil's domain. I'm joined by Kevin Peterson, international cricket player. It's got a real good feeling they're going to show off for us this morning. And the best safari guide in Cecil's area, Makuzi and Kube. This is the last day of my trip and we have 10 hours to find these lions before sun sets. But Makozi knows these lions well. I'm feeling positive. This is it. This is Cecil's domain. It's obvious why a royal lion would have chosen this as his kingdom. The amount of game is unbelievable and so much variety. For a lion, this is a buffet. Makuzi guides me and Kevin as we look for Cecil's pride. This pride has 11 mouths to feed, so they are very active hunters. We make our way towards the waterhole, where there's plenty of game for them to hunt. We spot fresh footprints, it looks like Bubezi, the new male, is nearby. The big boy will eat half the meat, so the other 10 lions only have a smaller portion. Exactly, so you better catch a buffalo or something. Yeah. Because if you catch something like a kudu, it's his. The big boy's a bit lazy. He just sits around exactly. just waiting for the girls to go and hunt. Ladies, bring me food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're basically paying tax to say, what? You protect us, you keep us safe. Yeah. You make sure no other male comes and disturbs us or our children, so... And you can eat Very as much closer. as you want. Everyone's winning. Now that we know the lions are nearby, we don't waste time. We jump back in the car to get to the waterhole as quickly as possible. And sure enough... Wow! I can't believe this! This is just unbelievable! The male that took over from Cecil, mm. right there, he's the king. Now he's only he's really just accepted all his kids. I know, that is so rare. Normally, mm. the male coming in actually kills, the kills cubs. cubs. Yeah. yeah. We take our time to watch Cecil's pride and enjoy the moment. As the day draws in, the pride become more active as they get ready to hunt. To see Cecil's offspring right here, I, I, I'm more like emotional actually, to be honest. Like, this is Cecil's legacy. It, it is, it's, it's goosebumps stuff because you read about it, you see it all over social media, and it, not in my wildest of dreams that I think that I'd be sitting man, here with his uh, successor. Yeah. You. <laughs> but, uh, awesome, man. Yeah, man. The mission was to do this. What do we do now? Have a beer. <laughs> Where are the beers? <laughs> yeah. We don't play golf. <laughs> it's amazing to see how Cecil's legacy lives on under the care of his successor, Bubezi. And it lives on not just through his pride. From the moment Cecil died, he brought the world's eyes on the conservation of lions. People from every background became aware of the challenges that these animals faced to survive. What I have learned is that people can live alongside lions. And in spite of the current efforts to protect them, we humans still have a long way to go to ensure that they are around for future generations. But for now, Cecil's pride lives on. Because these lions know that no matter how his life ended, Cecil was the real king of this domain. Mm -hmm.